Hey everybody, this is Richard Care, Richard Care Reviews, doing a slight change of what I was planning to do for this uh, celebrity news. Uh, long story short, I tried to do a quick series so far review of Umbrella Academy earlier today as of this recording. The reason why you're not seeing it is because I kind of just looked like I was A, off my game, and B, was stumbling and slurring and basically... Uh, not the, you know, cancel culture kind of like, basically messing up um, my uh, whole thing more than usual. And the ums were in full swing, so if I'm DM one is also there in my comment section, yeah, I hear you, dude. Trust me, I, I hate it too. So, uh, I'm just going to mainly cover um, Elliot Page's uh, whole, uh, I guess, I don't, know, I don't know how to say this nicely, coming out, uh, more, more importantly, uh, uh, trans. And, um, yeah, I'm happy for her. Well, now him. And I'm just going to go over the stuff I've actually liked about his career, uh, being formerly known as Ellen at the time. Um, I was one of those few that actually put up with his portrayal as, as Kitty Pride in uh, X-Men Last Stand. Keep in mind, Last Stand is still bad, but his version of Katie when he was Ellen was actually pretty sweet. Um, also, I'm very new to whole trans uh, rights and stuff. I'm for it. No shit. I uh, just want to make sure that... If I'm getting the pronouns wrong, please let me know in the comments down below for his sake and for his wife's sake, for Emma, who I also follow on Twitter. Um, Emma Porter is really awesome. She's a really good uh, performance artist. I think she does choreography for a bunch of big-name guys and uh, other performers of that, that like. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a quick card to uh, Slackjaw, the only video I think he did with me, uh, he did with Emma, uh, Elliot Wise. And it was really nice. It was very beautiful. It was very nice to see. Um... As far as the short goes, it's totally worth it. Um, so yeah. Um, as far as like me just like going down the down the row of like uh, Ellie's entire filmography, uh, there's some I don't like. Um, some I'm probably not even gonna remember why I don't like them. Uh, so whole IMDb down below. Um, I am definitely really cool of his uh, what was his uh, docu series uh, Gaycation. That was really cool. That was really awesome to see. I highly recommend their Japan episode. I think it was that one of those rare few um, docs that were coming out explaining the whole population control problem going on with uh, Japan. Long story there, just to say that. And, um, yeah. I just wanted to get this quick news out. Um, as much as I would love to do a breakdown with pretty much all of Umbrella Academy Seasons 1 and 2 as a series so far review, like Jeremy D Johns did with, I want to say, Lucifer Card 2. I might be doing that too. Just saying that. If I'm going to make... If, I gotta make myself, voice myself as John once again. I'm probably gonna do a series uh, so far review until the other half of season five shows up uh, later on Netflix, so. Um, I guess my quick thoughts as it is now with Umbrella Academy, please watch it. It's actually really awesome. Um, I highly recommend uh, various um, quick uh, uh, videos discussing the comic. It's a very short run. It's only like three volumes total, so there's really you, you can really catch up in time for the third season when it comes out. Uh, what I would like to also uh, no note on uh, that shows half in Elliot's case, they are going to change his name uh, to be credited as Elliot now, uh, coming into season three. I don't know if they're going to retroactively uh, edit that out also for seasons one and two now currently on Netflix. I don't know. Um, so yeah, with hopefully a proper uh, info about uh, the show probably later in the uh, top ten of the year, TV-wise, no joke, there was some really killer scenes that uh, he did when he was Ellen uh, during season two that was really worth it. So that's definitely going to be the top ten. Trust me on that. Or top five, depending how bored I was this year watching stuff, um, mainly because of COVID. Um, so yeah, um, this is just my quick introspective, my, I guess, deep dive of how much I've known Elliot's career and how I legit appreciate him now as a trans actor now. So... That all being said, uh, sorry that I kept this as a quick actual for reals this time vlog, uh, mainly because, I, oh, oh, and also being behind on the news, mainly because, again, work and stuff. So, again, I'm here, I'm happy for him, may he shine on along with his wife, God bless you both, you totally need it now more than ever, as far as this asshole of the year 2020 goes. So, end cards are finally coming up to my previous review, which was RVB Zero, uh, no new news on any drama that happened behind the scenes for that animation wise for RT it looks like it's actually okay for once again fingers crossed again it's RT things could change uh other hand here to uh, another previous video uh Wayland shirt here not as a tease to talk more about uh Predator stuff because again that news was the only thing that was actually worth uh looking into as Kane and uh I really wanted to get this vlog out of the way because next video 
I'm going to try to do something experimental again. Um, again, I'm just trying to pump content out for the end of the year. Um, wish me luck for what I'm planning to do. So with that all being said, take care, subscribe. Hit the notification down below if uh, I do do a proper review of uh, the Umbrella Academy series as is when Season 3 drops. Uh, because I definitely, definitely didn't like that first take. <laughs> just saying right there. And um, yeah, with uh, to Elliot and his wife, may you guys be awesome. Uh, trans couple as you should be and a trans marriage as you also should be and um that all being said take care and uh yeah let's talk about that trans rights